So to start, I'm just gonna get some cabbage and I'm using half a medium sized cabbage. I'm just gonna slice it using a knife. Now you can use a shredder if you have one. And make sure you don't cut your fingers. I prefer to cut them into very small pieces because it, you know, it gets easier to eat. So I sliced everything and this is what we have here. Now I'm just gonna get my medium sized carrots and get grated inside. Now the carrots should be about 30% of the cabbage but it's really up to you, just add what you want, okay? Now I'm gonna mix everything up. Okay, and I love to add some spring onions. I love, love, love my coleslaw with just a little bit of, you know, spring onions. So I'm just gonna chop a little bit of spring onions. Then I'm gonna add it to my cabbage and carrots mixture. Then I'm gonna mix everything up very well. Now I'm gonna come in with just a pinch of salt and continue mixing. As you know, cabbage is almost tasteless, so a little bit of salt is gonna do it some good. Now afterwards, I'm gonna come in with my favorite mayonnaise, and that is the Calvi mayonnaise. It is thinner and easier to mix. Now depending on how much mayonnaise you want, you can come in with a little bit more, or you can just reduce it. Obviously, I like it on the higher side. So I'm just gonna come in with my fork and just give it a final mix. I'll make sure everything is coated well with the mayonnaise. And ladies and gentlemen, here we are with our coleslaw. Now, the funny thing about it is, is the fact that it tastes better the next day. So I usually like to keep it in the fridge and eat it after a day. But hey, you can always eat it fresh, it's just up to you. Okay guys, so this is it and I hope you like it. I hope you're gonna give it a try. Now coleslaw is so, so good with, you know, sandwich bread. And at the same time, I love eating it with rice. If you've not subscribed, please don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Don't forget to share this with your family and friends. And don't forget to leave me a thumbs up, okay? Until next time, I'm going to see you again with another nice and interesting one. Bye-bye.